Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll uh. shoot! Uh. Again, we'll get a guy. Uh, Good walk. Can come on, got a guy. Uh, come on, let's get back to the fire. Waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Abby? Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky. 
beacons of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Yeah. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. A full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Oh, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Don't you 
Luke, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing. God, I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 Um, one of the, one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice and it was, yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must've been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell, cause it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Here, guys, you're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Wait, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers! <laughs> So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, 
I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Maybe we'll just take a look up this way. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about.
I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those. I'm sorry, officer, I've... No idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that.
Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are, so they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know, you know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlyn. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupted something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Huh. A time again, is it? Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? No? Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. What happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? 
I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Right, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. No sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. So this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Oh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey. I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. 
Meg, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. It's just not a good time. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> Didn't want it to happen, though. Uh, um. I, you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Quick. like an actual radio I thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um, uh, it, you know I mean it, it is still technically but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore yeah it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything and you know nowadays Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology. It giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense.
So that's why Nurse Kelly went home early. good uh, give me a minute all right huh All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's... Mr. H wanted more storage, so that's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. That's magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, 
and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears and they are everywhere and there's these hunters too and they seem to be shooting at the bears but also at us um, which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um, we are in desperate need of help so please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh, we don't know what to do so please uh, come help us SOS uh, this is a, an emergency S save our ship come on down please help us yeah I do good was that swarm of bears yeah. Heard of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh, my God. All right, I, I guess I should just, like, switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? What is that, Brian? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, uh, just get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone.
We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max.